Hi guys, it's Alex and this is another A-Frame tutorial. We are going to take a look at the different kinds of animations that you can do on A-Frame. So we have our scene there on the screen. Uh, you might have noticed that I have added the position and the camera just to make it easier to play around with. You can find this example on the website under A camera to copy and paste on our scene. So coming back to the website, we're going to go under the animations tab and we are going to copy the example. You have different kinds of attributes that you are going to add to your entity. In this case, we're going to add them under box because the box is our entity and we're going to start modifying them. We have in this case a rotation animation and we can modify the duration. It was at 10,000 and if you put it at 10,000, you can see that it's rather fast. Um, then we are going to try to modify it under 5,000. The animation seems more natural and even under 3,000 might be better. Yeah, that, that's good for now. We are going to go to the tool and modify the Y axis. So instead of 360, we're going to do a 180 in the rotation and you can see it changing on the screen and you can also modify the repeat. So this time it will repeat only a determined amount of times like three and then it will stop like that. Or you can leave it as indefinite and it means that it's going to repeat basically forever. Um, you can also modify the fill. So instead of forwards, you can do it backwards and yeah. And then let's just modify the Y axis again to 360 and, uh, leave the duration at 3000. There you go. Our first animation. So for our second animation, we are going to copy and paste the same. We're going to modify it to be a position animation. And we are going to see that in the attribute. So first of all, you cannot see it in the screen there because you have to modify the X axis. It's a position, no longer a rotation. So we're going to leave the Y axis at zero and give the X axis a minus five value. And you can see the box moving towards the left there. The duration, we're going to leave it at 3000, uh, like our previous animation. And we are also going to introduce the from attribute, which is basically where the animation is going to start. So from it starting from a value of five and going to a value of minus five. And you can see our box doing that trajectory on the screen where it goes from right to left. You can also flip that over and say, okay, I want you to start on a minus five value and go to a five value. And as you see the box moving now from left to right. Um, so that was a position animation. We can also add a color animation to transform the color of our box um, with the animation on the scene. So basically we're going to go back to the website and look at the not component properties, color properties. There you go. And we're going to copy that line of code. Uh, we're going to bring it back to the scene. Um, and we are going to add it under box, still under box. We have three animations uh, under the same entity. So as you can see, um, the color is being transformed. It's changing from a white color to a red color. We are going to add a repeat. Um, so the repeat, you can leave it, leave it as indefinite or you can determine the amount of times, as I said before. In this case, we're going to leave it uh, to turn on forever, so indefinite. And we're going to modify the from color to blue. So it's going to go from blue to red. And you can see that shade of like purple color in the middle. And we're going to modify the duration at, as the same of our previous animations, so 3000. And there you go, guys, three animations under the same box. And thank you for watching. Bye.